Hello everyone. So I showed you in a, another video this uh, rain effect, and I got couple of requests from people who view this video and to do a tutorial on how did I achieve this rain effect, especially this uh, screen water dripping part. So I'm gonna show you how did I do this with the render target and post process materials all right so let's get started so this was uh, this is our scene that we were working on our open world game and I'm going to use this to demonstrate that effect as well right so the first thing is I have to create a render texture so I'll create a folder called render targets and inside materials and textures I will create this render target and uh, I'll set uh, the size of this into 240 2048 2024 so it, it's uh, roughly similar to our screen size but you may have to make this dynamic and may have to make research on this little more when you're actually doing this this is only for demonstration purposes right okay so now we have this render texture uh, and uh, now I'm going to add a screen capture object not screen capture scene capture object like this okay so now we have this and uh, I'll rotate this it like this so it's uh, clear what it sees and for the texture target I'll add this render texture I just created now to demonstrate what happens here I'll add a plane into our scene like this and rotate okay I'll make it a little bit larger and uh, I'll create a new material I'll call it M R T R T means render target I'll make this unlit and I'll drag and drop this uh, render target texture I just created into this material and connect here and apply now I'll assign that material into this plane M R T like this so as you can see now this is what's rendered on this plane is what is seen by this scene capture object so if I move it like this you see this this one is also moving it's like this is a camera and this is a this is like a CCTV camera and this is like a security screen but you see it is uh, rotated so I'll rotate this around its local axis like this so now it is in correct rotation okay so the next thing is uh, I'm going to add some water water leak particles in front of this camera I have already created some particle for that and I'm not going to explain how to create this particle from scratch I'll just uh, go ahead and use it because uh, it will take some time if I'm going to explain how to create this particle as well 
okay and if you need to know more about this particle please let me know in the comment section so for now I'll just drag and drop it here okay and I'll remove this set rotation because uh, it is hard to keep it like that and uh, I'll keep it in the default rotation so as you can see we can see that what is seen by that uh, this camera or this scene capture object in here so this these are uh, these water leaks are going to be the water leaks that we can see on our screen so how to do that first thing is I'm going to create another plane here like this and I'm going to so that uh, this plane will block whatever seen by this camera I'll make them move make this whole setup move a little higher because anyway it is essential to keep this setup somewhere that player don't see so you will see why in the future in a couple of minutes okay so now we can see this uh, water leaks on top of this white plane so I'll create another material here another black material another completely black material the reason is this I'll assign this into here so the reason is now that we can clearly see these rain particles or what leaks right now the next step is instead of rendering these particles in our in this plane I'm going to render this as a post process material on top of this, uh, ca this uh, screen so to do that I'll add a first I'll add a post process volume and I'll make it unbound for now so that it will work everywhere and uh, in this post process material there is an option called under rendering features post process materials so I'll select this as an asset reference and I'll go to this one and instead of this being a surface material I will set this as a post process material so it wouldn't okay so I can get rid of this now and I'll again select post process volume and drag and drop it here right so as you can see now we see this water leaks but it is uh, going uh, horizontal instead of vertical so I again remove this rotation like this okay so now we can see in the correct orientation but we have a little problem here this we can see this 
the edge of this plane here to fix that I'll first disable this one and go here and I'll uh, make this plane a little wider like this and I'll again select uh, post process material uh, volume and enable it okay now we can again see this effect clearly but the problem is now we don't see our landscape or our level so to do that this is how it's done so instead of directly plug in this MSU color into here I'll uh, create this scene texture and select this as a post process input and I'll plug it here and I'll create a texture coordinate and I'll add this with one channel of this texture and put it here so okay so now as you can see these are our water leaks right so now we have our water leaks like this so I'll So this is the beginning of this effect and now what you have to do is uh, be using this uh, technique I just showed you you can put couple of other particle effects and some normal maps and also you have to work on the lighting of the scene as well so with that you can improve this effect into look something like I showed you here like this one so this in here I have created a couple of effects for water drops for the leaks and another separate fog and a mist and also rain particles okay so that's all for today and if you need further tutorials on this subject let me know in the comment sections and see you again goodbye